Well, good afternoon. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It's August 9th, Friday, almost four o'clock in the afternoon on the East Coast. And I've been monitoring all the developments with uh, Tropical Depression or the remnants of Tropical Depression, Debbie. It has really caused a lot of problems throughout Pennsylvania, also into New York and now into parts of Vermont. Uh, let me show you the satellite picture. You can see it right here. And uh, we do have uh, a lot of clouds extending from Virginia, North Carolina, on up into Pennsylvania and New York. Uh, this is part of the remnants of Debbie. This big spinning thing is a big low pressure system uh, in Canada. It is not part of Tropical Depression Debbie. It's just a low pressure. Uh, but the counterclockwise winds have been helping to whisk and speed up Debbie uh, at a much faster pace. Unfortunately, we've had... Uh, horrendous rains in central Pennsylvania. We showed you yesterday about the uh, chance for uh, flooding rains, uh, excessive rainfall in Pennsylvania, and that indeed did pan out. Um, as a matter of fact, we had uh, water rescues uh, earlier today going on in Westfield, uh, Pennsylvania. I wanted to show you that uh, also right here. This is uh, courtesy of John Anderson uh, on uh, X, uh, sharing some of these swift water rescues happening a uh, tremendous amount of rain happening in Northeast Pennsylvania. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the radar and you can see um, what's going on with that. It is actually uh, all the way up here into Eastern New York and Western Vermont right now. Uh, however, uh, down here, uh, this is where uh, Westfield, Pennsylvania is located. You can see all of the flood warnings uh, that are still in effect uh, because of rainfall falling at a rate of two to four inches per hour. And there's nothing you can do to withstand that kind of rise uh, in creek beds and uh, small streams. They become raging rivers. And that's certainly what happened and is continuing to happen in Westfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, there have been reports of helicopter rescues off the uh, rooftops of homes there. So uh, I want to widen out a little bit, show you GeoCollaborate and also the satellite picture here. This whole mess, this whole mess of clouds is going to be moving out of the East Coast uh, tonight. Uh, this is uh, sort of the end of the frontal system here. It's going to push through, get us a new air mass in. But I did want to mention back down in South Carolina, we do have uh, more disturbed weather here, which is going to cause rain showers throughout the weekend along the coastline of North and South Carolina, but including the re restoration areas in Florida around uh, the Big Bend area and down towards Tampa, St. Pete, uh, we are dealing with very hot temperatures, temperatures in the mid 90s and also heat indexes. Heat indexes are um, uh, in the 105 to 115 range. Yesterday in Tampa, a heat index of 118 degrees uh, was recorded. So it is very, very hot and humid in Florida. So please be patient uh, with all of the crews that are doing a yeoman's effort to get all of the power restored throughout Florida and uh, Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, they need to take frequent breaks. It is not healthy uh, to be um, out there working so long. Well, I want to show you GeoCollaborate here, and these are some storm reports that have uh, come been reported over the last uh, couple of days. Uh, you can see the T's here for tornadoes. A lot more tornado warnings were issued. As a matter of fact, some this morning, uh, right uh, before Washington, D.C., and one in the district itself, uh, tornado warning. Uh, no confirmation of that touching down within the district, but there were plenty of uh, flash flood warnings throughout central Maryland as well. And you can see the tail end of uh, the remnants of Debbie still producing rain, heavy rain in northeast Maryland and some remnant showers in western Maryland. But I want to scroll back up again. Here is Westfield, Pennsylvania, northern Pennsylvania, right near the um, uh, line uh, border of uh, New York. And um, that is certainly an area that is under uh, the gun right now for rising water still because of that heavy rain. This stream of rain is almost like a fire hose uh, going now into uh, eastern New York, about to set, on, uh, set in on Albany. And uh, this, these heavy rains will cause flooding. So just be prepared for that. Uh, that could lead to power outages as well. Um, crews are on standby for responding. Just one final uh, reminder, 
Uh, please do not station your uh, trucks if you haven't experienced this heavy rain yet. So in Vermont and uh, eastern New York, do not uh, stage your trucks in low-lying areas. When this intense rainfall comes through, it could raise the, the water very, very quickly. So uh, that will be out of here. We will have some uh, heavy rain in Vermont, parts of New Hampshire, and then some showers will end the morning tomorrow uh, in Maine. I wanted to just come back down here to Maryland and the Chesapeake Bay because we've have been having strong southerly winds, which has been causing some flooding. Uh, here's a, a picture uh, from um, Annapolis, Maryland uh, this morning uh, where high tides, uh, as a matter of fact, it was one of the uh, top 10 highest tides recorded in downtown Annapolis. Uh, this is uh, closed streets. Uh, this is called uh, Compromise Street in Annapolis, and it's a very popular street uh, that goes around towards the Annapolis uh, Yacht Club and in the foreground goes around towards the U.S. Naval Academy. Uh, but I want to show you the, um, uh, the, uh, the water levels and what it looked like here over uh, the last day. You can see in this uh, interactive graph, this is from NOAA, uh, but we peaked out uh, there at an observed 2.99 feet um, uh, this morning. And this is about the time that this picture was taken uh, here in Annapolis. And currently the water level has gone down and it is uh, still at moderate flood stage, uh, but it's expected to go through down to minor flooding and then resume more of a normal tide cycle. The next high tide is about 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, where there still could be some some uh, minor flooding in uh, lower lying areas in Annapolis. Uh, but this indicates, this forecast indicates uh, that there will be uh, no more flooding uh, like you see on the screen here uh, in downtown Annapolis. So that's all uh, great news. Um, that's the update for today. I just wanted to sort of wrap up the week here and provide this update uh, from uh, GeoCollaborate or the Sensitive Information Sharing Environment, the All Hazards Consortium, uh, that works very closely with states uh, and private sector liaisons within those state emergency operations centers. Uh, and they can share this video with those private sector uh, partners uh, if they would like to, as it's updated into the SICE hub. We'll be doing that within the next uh, couple of minutes. And uh, also, it looks like in the mid-Atlantic and Southeast, we'll have a better weekend in store uh, enough uh, good weather to keep restoring power, although there are chances of showers and perhaps some scattered storms along the coastline of South Carolina and North Carolina. That's it. This is the uh, final update on uh, Debbie. Uh, we'll be monitoring and we are monitoring another system in the Atlantic uh, that has a 50% chance of developing. Uh, we'll be putting that on the GeoCollaborate dashboard. You can come in and check on that and uh, we'll be doing any video updates should conditions warrant. So for now, I'm Dave Jones with GeoCollaborate, Storm Center Communications. Thanks so much for watching this series of updates. Uh, we'll be talking to you again soon, I'm sure, during this busy hurricane season.